Lawmakers are now racing toward a May 17th deadline to strike a deal on a more than $50 billion two-year state budget, among other big issues. We spoke with Senator Warren Limmer earlier in the week about police reform, and we also spoke with him about the budget. Here's what he had to say in today's Newsmakers. Hello, Senator Limmer. Thank you for being here. As Glad the session here. draws toward a close, talking more about the budget. How's yeah, that going? We're about three weeks away, and the budget, um, we have a, a House majority and the governor who wants to raise taxes. Big surprise. Uh, and uh, we have made a firm commitment in the Senate to hold the line. And the reason is, is that we have a $1.6 billion budget. We have $2.6 billion coming from the federal government for added money for public education. And then an additional $4 billion coming from the federal government uh, in order to handle some of the complications due to the COVID pandemic. So in our opinion, we are awash in cash, and there's no need to go back to the taxpayers of Minnesota and further impose uh, taxes on business owners and those that are considered high up in their wealth. We do that all the time. Uh, it's been going on for 60, 70 years. We impose a higher tax on wealthy people. But nevertheless, we're coming out of this COVID pandemic. Our economy is not firing up is 100% great guns. So we need to keep that pressure of expenses, added expenses off our businesses and make sure we focus on getting them up and putting people to work. Think you'll be able to do it in the next few weeks or we have a few special sessions well, in Well, you know, uh, it just depends on if we can convince the governor uh, to realize that you need to keep the pressure off those businesses so they can get up and going again. Some of them are only going at about 40% performance, and we need, to, we need to be cautious about that. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.